Hello students, today we will start irrigation of crops. So first of all we will define what is irrigation. So artificial application of water to soil of crop field to promote plant growth is called irrigation. This one also we can define the supply of water to crops at different intervals is known as irrigation. In agriculture, irrigation fulfills some goals. What these goals are? These goals are number one, crop plants are irrigated with fresh water to supply two essential elements to them. These are hydrogen and oxygen. And both of these elements are present in water molecule and are necessary for the growth and development of crop plants. Next is to provide sufficient moisture for germination of seeds. And this is because seeds do not germinate in dry soils. And the third point is for the growth and elongation of the root of crop plants. And this is because uh, because of the plants fail to develop and elongate in dry soils. Now the fourth point is to increase the number of aerial branches in crop plants so as to get good crop yield and this is because uh, the number of aerial branches get reduced in dry soil, dry soil which lead to loss in crop yield and the fifth point is for the absorption of nutrients element by the crop plants from the soil the irrigation water tends to dissolve in nutrient present in the soil of a crop field to form a solution and this solution of nutrients in them absorbed by the roots of crop for development of the plants. Now students will discuss the, uh, the is irrigation of crop plants depend on these two following factors and these factors are nature of the crop plants and the nature of the soil of the crop field. The nature of the crop plants, actually water requirement of different crops are different during the various stages of their growth and maturation. And some crop plants require more water while other needs less water. For example, paddy crops is transplanted in the standing water and requires continuous water supply whereas other crops such as wheat, grams and cotton requires less water. Now, second point is nature of soil of the crop field. Nature of soil of the crop fields. Irrigation also depends on the nature of the soil in which crop is grown. The crops grown in a sandy soil need irrigation more frequently whereas the frequency of irrigation is comparatively less for crops grown in a clay soil. Let us know why this occurs. Sandy soil is highly porous having high permeability. When the crop plants standing in a sandy soil are irrigated then water quickly percolates down the soil or inserted into the soil and crop plants are not able to absorb adequate amount of water. So due to the poor water retaining capacity of the sandy soil, the crops cultivated in the sandy soil need more frequent irrigation and in the contrast to the sandy soil, clay soil is much less permeable. So it can retain water for much longer time. So when the crops grown in the clay soil are irrigated, the water persists in the soil for longer time and as a consequence, plants grown in clay soil can absorb this water in adequate amount. Due to 
good water retaining capacity of the clay soil the crops cultivated in clay soil need irrigation less frequently now students will discuss different sources of irrigation there are two type of sources of irrigation we can say one is natural sources of irrigation another is artificial sources of irrigation so students natural sources of irrigation like water reservoirs pond lakes rivers and wells these are the natural sources of irrigation whereas artificial uh, sources contains dams canals tube wells waterways sprinkler etc